Yes. Hey beauties, welcome back to my channel. It's Ariel Alicia here and I'm coming at you with another look. So this look was requested by you guys. Um, it's a beauty effortlessly glowy summer look. So this is what I came up with. I'm really, really liking the results. I'm very glowy, dewy, like I woke up like this kind of look, even though I didn't. I did use full coverage foundation. Um, I, With my skin, I can't, I'm not ready yet to use uh, tinted moisturizer or a BB cream because I do have acne scars that I need to cover. So um, I did try a BB cream out, um, put the video somewhere up here. Uh, so you can see that I do use it, but the, I cover my acne scars and then I use a powder on top. So I might as well just use a full coverage foundation. It just makes more sense. And uh, my new slogan, I guess you can see uh, in the video, is I ain't got time for that, basically. Who has time? Uh, and I don't have time to do all that, so that's why I just decided to do a full coverage foundation. But anywho, uh, let me know if you guys like this video. I do have a lot more coming up, so please subscribe to my channel. Um, give me suggestions in the comments below. I do want to communicate with you guys more. Uh, I do want to have another giveaway coming out, so just give me some suggestions of what I should do. And if you do like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Let's get on with the video. What's a summer look without watermelon? Like, it's just bomb. So I did change my brow, so I thought I'd do it on camera. Um, right now I'm using the Brow Wiz and this color is medium brown. No, it's like not my color at all. Um, I used this color when my hair was blonde. So this is what I have for now. You guys know I'm always a hot mess. I'm never prepared. So this is the only thing I have now besides the pomade, which I don't want to use because it is summer. I don't want to... I don't have time to be doing all of that craziness. So with the pencil, I'm just kind of doing the same as my other brow routine. If you want a more in-depth brow, um, just click over here. I'll have that posted for you guys. And now I'm just filling it in. Now I'm just flicking up. My favorite pencil um, I like Anastasia because I don't know it just goes on a lot better I used to use the Mac one but the only bad thing about that one is you never knew when it was done just roll it up and you would never know when it's done because you can't roll it all the way up because you can't roll it back down like this one you can roll up and down you know so I just like this one a little bit better and it doesn't break as easy as the other one I'm not trying to like knock Mac or anything but this is just my preference. And I did get darker, if you could tell. I was in Flo Rida, living my best life. Now I'm gonna be taking the LA Pro in Toffee and just kind of put it on the brush. And then go under like I usually do. brush them up because I do like that brushed up look even though they don't stay but one of my friends told me that she uses the Shea Moisture soap and she puts a spoolie in the soap and it stays brushed up because her brows are literally bomb so I might have to get that and see what that's about because I do this and next thing I know I look in the mirror they're like Burr. they definitely don't stay okay so I had to finish off camera because my brow was trying to play me so the next thing we're gonna do is we can do the lids I'm gonna take the Marc Jacobs um, do you do drops it has coconut gel on it what, what? That's bomb. We're just gonna put it on the eye. And I'm also gonna put it like on my skin cause you know, product is expensive girl. We don't have time to be wasting nothing. All right, so now we're just gonna take uh, the same blending brush that I use to blend out the painterly, which I didn't use for this. Put it all over. And these dew drops like are legit life. 
And you know I had to do my saddle. I can't do a look without saddle. Like, it's just, I have to. So I'm gonna take saddle and then just put it in the crease just a little bit to give me some definition. Nothing too crazy. It's like I said, we, we're going to the beach and we wanna look glowy. Like, I want you to think that my crease is really this bomb. Because it is. Because of saddle. <laughs> And now I'm just gonna take another blending brush. And I want this to be really quick and easy for you guys, so I don't wanna use like too many products. So there's that. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just cover the Marc Jacobs, just so it doesn't crease too much because creasing is not cute. And I'm gonna take Sweet Heat by MAC and then just kinda put it on my lid. See, I'm like not really precise with anything. I'm kind of just slapping it on my eye because it shouldn't be perfect anyway. And then just going back with the blender. And I know you guys like talk through, so I'm trying to talk through. Okay, so now we have the lids done. I'm gonna pop on some mascara. So I got Bobbi Brown and this is the little mascara sample that I got. So I'm going to use this and then I'm going to put uh, the Tarte Waterproof um, on top of that because, you know, we love waterproof. With mascara, see how I'm like blinking into it? I like to blink and wiggle because like look at the difference if I just like coat it regularly. Like, you see the difference? Like, like I kind of just like didn't blink oh my god of course of course I <laughs> got mascara on my freaking thing ah! um it's okay you know what I'm kind of glad this happened so you guys can see what the heck I do so I'm just gonna let it dry and then I'll wipe it away but I like to blink into my mascaras because I feel like you get a lot more length and then I wiggle it too to get the volume so that's what I do with my mascaras because I always do fake lashes so I feel like I never really talked to you guys about my mascara routine. So that's just one coat, like, bomb. I think I'm gonna look at two lash extensions too this summer because I ain't got time. We're gonna let it dry a little bit before I put the other one on top. So I had to switch my foundation up. So we're gonna use MAC. Um, this is MAC Studio Fix in the color NC50. And I'm gonna try not to use that much because I know you guys want like an effortless look. I'm gonna try, I'm gonna try. And even with the foundation, like that highlight is still showing. Like, ooh, yes. I tried y'all, but this looks like a full face of foundation now. You guys recommend any products for me, for acne scars or anything. I legit tried everything. It just doesn't work for me. Okay, so in reality, people with not as many acne scars as I have, you guys can use a tinted moisturizer, and the one I recommend is Laura Mercier, 100%, and for a BB cream, I recommend um, Tarte has a really good one, so you guys can use those. There we go. See now we're starting to look like I have flawless skin, but we faking it. You guys don't have to do this. That's just me being extra, and I'm gonna be using the same um, Studio Fix powder. Especially if you want a glowy look, like definitely don't do this, but I can't, like I'm sorry. I have to use a powder. I didn't forget about that little black mark up there. I'm just trying to do all this before I... All right, so I usually take a Q-tip, but that's not around. So I'm gonna be taking this like little brush. I don't know, I've had this brush forever. So I'm just gonna kind of get rid of it. And look, it's gone. If you would have wiped it away as soon as it happened, it would have left like a huge black line right there. Like, 
then you have to blend that out and it's just a mess so if that ever happens to you guys just let the mascara dry and then it'll flake off and now since that's done I'm gonna be putting on the waterproof on top but yeah this is I think this is pretty so now I'm gonna be taking the LA Pro since I did get darker and just put that underneath this is optional you don't have to do this I'm only gonna put it there just to cover my circles like I'm not gonna do um, go ham like I usually do with concealer I'm only gonna put it where I need it and just blend it in see just cover that area and just in case you're going to like the pool instead of the beach and you're trying to look cute I'm gonna set this a little bit not too crazy like I'm not gonna put as much as I usually put on like I'm so light-handed okay Queens. and see I didn't even put any like on the bridge of my nose or anything because we're gonna do that with highlight and now since that is done I'm not gonna go crazy with the contour I'm gonna do it more of like a bronze look so I'm just gonna kind of do a bronze look so I'm taking this like um, it's kind of like a dome brush and then just kind of going all in I didn't like that brush <laughs> we're gonna use a different one all right we're just gonna take this bad boy and see what happens and I have to be extra and take my brush as usual so it looks like a little contour you know I have to be some type of dramatic and now we're gonna take a highlight by Laura oh my god I love this highlight this is um, insidious looks like this it is bomb AF fam like this is definitely a summer must-have and I'm just gonna put that everywhere because we trying to glow from space everybody needs to see this highlight I'm just blending it as always and I'm blending my nose for once just so it kind of looks like it came from within and since we have that highlight from the Marc Jacobs underneath it like is really gonna pop I always always do underneath my eye so but we're gonna just take the same thing take saddle and uh, sweet heat Saddle is going to be under here. And then I'm going to do sweet heat on the inner corner. There is a spoolie at the end of um, the Anastasia pencil, but uh, mine broke. This one's like so thick. Like, what the hell? First of all, this brow is being a hater. I don't have time to fix you. No one has time for all that. It's all about time, guys, and you know I ain't got it, so. All right, we gotta fix this thick-ass brow. So let me fix that. Because this one, like, this one is just so perfect. Like, why can't the other one just be like that one? Like, why? Why can't you just grow the same? Why can't you just be similar? I mean, nothing on our body is the same anyway, but... Why can't my brows just be? That'd make life so much easier, you know? 